Tonight, a Target 12 investigators exclusive, revealing an MRI dye warning. We've learned a frightening disease is cropping up across the country. It's a rare reaction that happens to certain patients injected with a dye that's used in routine MRIs. We've learned that at least 12 people here in Rhode Island have been diagnosed, and now a massive lawsuit aimed at several pharmaceutical companies claims the manufacturers poisoned some patients. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the exclusive details. A Warwick woman is a plaintiff in that lawsuit. She's so sick, she can't go on camera, but we were provided pictures of her painful condition. We should warn you, some of those pictures are tough to look at. Patients say it's as if their skin is turning to stone. This Warwick woman actually had to have a finger amputated. It's awful. Um, some patients will have a rapidly progressive course where they're fine, and uh, three weeks later, they're wheelchair bound. That's the case in these pictures, and it's creeping across the victim's body. Imagine if you were wearing very, very tight gloves, and then you tried to bend your fingers. It's very difficult to do, and the skin will actually start to break down on the knuckles. Attorney Patrick Barry is describing the condition of his client, who he's declining to identify. He says she was diagnosed with nephrogenic systemic fibrosis, or NSF. A disease doctors say can be triggered by gadolinium-based dyes used for MRIs. It's been discovered that that agent can cause this disease in certain patients who have underlying conditions. That underlying condition is kidney disease. The body is simply unable to flush the gadolinium out, igniting NSF. In fact, the FDA issued alerts in 06 and 07 highlighting risks to patients with renal or kidney problems. Was she ever told this could happen to her? No. That's because at the time, the medical community didn't know. Barry's patient is one of 517 plaintiffs in a massive lawsuit against five pharmaceutical companies that make the gadolinium-based dye. We want to uncover exactly what the manufacturers knew, when, how, how much information did they have, and what did they do with it. Barry says one of the companies, GE Healthcare, made the dye in the local case. They issued a statement to Target 12 that reads in part, no definitive causal relationship between the administration of gadolinium-based contrast agents to patients with moderate to severe renal impairment and NSF has ever been found. Barry begs to differ. He says the FDA examined 75 patients diagnosed with NSF. And all of those 75 patients had been administered gadolinium in connection with, a, with an MRI. 75 out of 75. Yes. Of the 11 cases that you've dealt with firsthand, how many have a link to gadolinium? Um, we know that 10 of them have definitely had re have received gadolinium dye for um, MRIs before they developed the disease. Dr. Leslie Robinson Boston is an associate professor of dermatology at Brown University. She says the condition is rare and fairly new, so it has been misdiagnosed. If caught early enough, it can be treated. But in general, um, it's got a terrible prognosis. In some cases, the hardening gets to the organs, leading to death. Barry says his client's condition is getting worse, but says she wants her story told because others like her may be out there and misdiagnosed. And particularly those patients who have kidney problems and would be getting a contrast-enhanced MRI really need to be very cognizant of what they're doing and ask lots of questions of their doctors. Doctors say healthy people have nothing to worry about when they go in for an MRI. It's those with kidney problems that should talk to their doctors first. We have helpful information on our website, foxprovidence.com. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. Now another